Hi guys, today we're going to be doing a pick a card. We're going to be doing who is coming towards you. So we have group one, group two, group three and group four. And let's get started as to who's coming towards you. So starting off with group number one. Hello group number one, let's see who is coming towards you. So you guys have a lot of cards, so <laughs> bear with me for a really deep reading. So we have time for a deep dive, ironically. Uh, we have learn from the past, angels, calling in your soulmate, travel, light and love, trust, family, teaching, oracle cards. We also have don't let your past hold you back, emotions are running high. Damn, these cards will not stay still. Stay still. We also have Kunzite Children. We have the Four of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Three of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. So, for you guys, I feel like you need to trust that your soulmate is coming. This is a soulmate, okay? This is somebody who you, like, both of you, <clears throat> excuse me, have both learnt from the past. You both learnt from your from your past, from past people, and the angels and guides in the universe is drawing you towards this soulmate, okay? So it's basically like you've gone through like loads of different levels to get to this person, and this is the sort of person you could be having children with, okay, and having a family, and both of your life purposes, I feel like, are to bring light and love to this world, so once you get together, I feel like just the fact that you are together is going to be really, really good for the collective and for the world, and I just feel like this just feels really, really positive. We have emotions running high and we also have time for a deep dive and then we have the past and the past here so we definitely have a really deep connection going on and once you meet this person i definitely feel like you'll know that this is the right person this is somebody who possibly will hold back at the start because of the past and they'll probably want to be single but they're actually having a think about it they'll be like actually do you know what i feel really good with this connection i feel really good with this person i'm going to decide to be with them i feel like you could have had readings about this person or you could have had like an intuition kind of or a dream that this person is going to come in and i definitely feel like this person could be a teacher they could want to teach they love teaching people i feel like they've got a lot of knowledge to give you and i feel like they like travel or they just love the idea of travel and i feel like they're going to be traveling with you okay so definitely a soulmate coming forward this is definitely like a love relationship i suddenly got really really hot oh i'm suddenly getting really really hot so i feel like you guys are going to be really like intimate with each other and it's going to be really really sexual energy i feel like the excitement is going to be really really strong and you're both going to be feeling each other really really strongly and i just feel like this person is going to be really really lovely they're going to be somebody who probably you'll think, oh, they just want to stay single. Why the F am I bothering? But actually, they'll be thinking, I really like this person. I really want to be with them, but I don't know what to do. Because in the past, I feel like I've gone through so much hurt. I don't want to go through it again. I just want to stay single. But actually, oh, they seem really nice. And this person like seems like really independent. As somebody who just wants to kind of get shit done. But in reality, there's somebody who just really wants to be with you <laughs> and i swear this car just car just moved i'm not sure i swear this car just moved anyway so yeah that's what i'm feeling for you guys i feel like you've gone for a really big transformation i feel like you possibly could be holding back as well because you're not sure if this person's the right person but i genuinely feel like this is a really really lovely connection and yeah i love this thank you so much for watching guys so feel please feel free to subscribe down below if you would like a private reading all the information is on the screen here and all my information about all the readings i do are in the description below if you'd like to comment if this resonated with you um then please do so if it didn't resonate then let it fly and give it a thumbs up and that's it so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here i love you love you love you and i'll speak to you very soon bye also, before I go, when you meet this person, don't let the past hold you back, okay? They're not going to be like other people from the past, okay? Just thought I'd let you know. Okay, you guys, I was really silly and I forgot to add in the zodiac signs. So the people, possible people you could be connecting with is either a Scorpio or a Capricorn. Obviously, this doesn't have to resonate. If this person isn't this zodiac sign, don't even worry about it, okay? But that's just for clarification, okay? Bye!
Hello group number two, thank you so much for being here. Let's see who is coming towards you. We've got the gorgeous rose quartz heart. So let's have a look and see who is coming towards you. So we have spirit has a plan, bring your ideas to life, be fearless and bold, love, chemistry, children, lovely. You and your loved ones are safe, new moon in cancer, the energies gain momentum, waxing moon. Lapis Lazuli problems resolved and you also have the Six of Swords in the reverse and the Emperor. Is this a reverse? Yes. Okay. So, whew, this person, you don't actually know them, I don't think. Um, I think they're going to come in when you actually think, ugh, I'm so single. Or ugh, I want some more friends. Or ugh, <laughs> I want a better colleague. <laughs> I feel like this is that sort of energy. It's almost like they're going to suddenly rush in. But I feel like this is more of a love relationship. For some reason, I never noticed that there was a little Cupid in the corner of this card, like right here. Like, what the hell? I never actually noticed that. So I feel like you guys are going to be coming into a really lovely relationship. They're going to make you feel really safe. And this, this is gaining momentum. It's moving forward. And be fearless and bold. I feel like you could actually offer your love to somebody. You could offer an offer to somebody. You could be like, hey, I really like you. Let's get together. Or they could offer something to you. I feel like you're going to have an idea that you want to go forward with this person. But you're just not going to be sure. You're like, mm, maybe this person's in my life for like, you know, other reasons. But I feel like this is more going to be about love. Because we actually have love here. This isn't self-love. We have actual love. So this is definitely going to be about you and somebody else, which is a partner. I feel like you're going to feel this person within your third eye and your throat. I feel like you're really gonna wanna say stuff because you can really feel the energy. I feel like your third eye is gonna be like whoop, 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 whoop. So you're really gonna feel it because this person is very headstrong. They're like, yes, I wanna go towards you. They may be a bit hesitant to come towards you because they've gone through quite a lot of stuff and they're gonna be a little bit stubborn. But I feel like they're definitely gonna be coming towards you because the universe is gonna almost be pushing them, gonna be like, go. Go, go. <laughs> and this could be somebody that you have children with. They could also be really good with children or just be like really close with their family, okay? So possible star signs with this person is an Aries, Libra or Pisces. Obviously it doesn't have to resonate. If it doesn't resonate, then that's fine. This is just extra clarification for you guys. So I definitely feel like this person is going to be coming in quite fast. Um, they might, it might be slow at the start because we have the Emperor and I feel like sometimes he can be a bit of an ass. He can be a bit stubborn which is really annoying, but I feel like you're gonna have an idea that this person is gonna be really, really good for you, and they're gonna be really good for your creativity, I feel like, because they're so lovely and their energy is so lovely, they're gonna really help you with your creativity and your connection with your third eye and your throat chakra. This person could even be a, a Cancerian, water sign, like could even be a Scorpio, because I feel like they have a really lovely watery energy, and this card is normally my water sign card. Could even have possibly Aries moon, or possibly an earth sign in their moon, but I feel like more for like their sun sign, it'll be these cards here and water signs, okay? So that's what I'm seeing you guys. If this resonates, please let me know down below. If it didn't, then let it fly or choose another group. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, the red button is down below. I would love for you to be part of this channel. I love, love, love you guys so, so much. If you'd like to get a private reading with me, all my information is down below in the description. I've listed all my readings, so you can choose which one you would like. Uh, if you'd like to give this video a thumbs up, I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's see who is coming towards you. For some reason, I heard fan fanfares, fan fanfares playing, like a doo -doo -doo -doo, and like pff, like streamers and streamers and party poppers and stuff. So I'm not sure what that's about. Just letting you guys know, okay? So who's coming towards you? We have <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> Koi Fish Spirit self-love let's put them over there worth waiting for animals flowers and your hard work is paying off we also have a new start is coming moonstone moon cycles crown chakra we have the empress page of pentacles and the ten of wands so somebody who is coming towards you is worth waiting for. They could have taken a long time <laughs> to come towards you so that's essentially why if, even, if you haven't seen this person yet, they're definitely worth waiting for. I feel like they could love the outdoors and love animals. Basically, within the new start is coming, your hard work for paying off. Just know that if you're questioning, why is no one coming towards me? Why am I single? Or why, am I, why do I have no friends? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Just know that your hard work is paying off, and a new start is coming. It is 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 coming. I felt the need to 
repeat myself. So we all have the koi fish spirit, there's always enough. You could be connected with a Pisces, but this also means that there is enough. You will have somebody coming towards you and they're worth waiting for, okay? This person, I feel like both of you are ending a new cycle and starting a new one. This is like an offer towards the empress. I feel like you're the empress and this is like a new offer. So this is a person coming towards you. It could be a Virgo or it could be an earth sign. As I said, it could even be a Pisces as well. Um, but I feel like they're going through quite an intense struggle, hence why they may not have not come towards you yet. Um, but they're starting a new cycle as well as you are. So you guys are going to be both on the same like line. And I'm getting really, really hot. Whew, so I feel like you guys are going to have a really, really intense connection. I feel like this is a love connection. It could even be like a soulmate in a friendship. But I don't think because I've got, just got hot, I feel like more of like it could be like a love relationship. We also have self-love here. So I feel like this person is learning self-love and you are learning self-love. And you've gotten to the point where you're like, okay, I've done a lot of self-love. Where is this person? And then this person will be coming towards you, okay? So with the Moonstone, I feel like after this new moon in uh, Cancer, I feel like this is going to start manifesting okay you could be feeling it in your crown chakra you could be feeling it possibly at the top of your head you could be feeling like headaches or you could be getting dreams where possibly someone is stroking your head or massaging your head or you're going to have like thoughts that are really random you're thinking whoa where did that come from and then it goes and you're like oh so this could be that person coming towards you, you could even have dreams about this person but i love the moonstone i think it's so such a pretty stone and it just kind of reminds me of like a fresh start, fresh new energy, and a new start is coming. This person I feel like is um, somebody, as I say, who loves nature. They're going to be somebody who loves animals. They're going to be somebody who's just, who's just like, okay, let's, let's motivate each other. Let's go for it, okay? They're going to be really, really, a really happy person, okay? So we have Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Gemini, and Sagittarius. I burped so this is good it means you're going to be letting stuff out i feel like you're going to be easily communicating with this person obviously if this person isn't any of these star signs or any of the ones are zodiac signs or any of the ones i've mentioned this could just be one of them in their chart or their moon sign or just don't worry about it guys because it doesn't always have to resonate with with these um zodiac signs okay so thank you so much for watching if you would like to um give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below i would love that so much Thank you so much for being here. Um, if you'd like to get a private reading with me, all the information is on the screen here. And all my um, rates and everything is down below to let you know what I offer. Also, uh, if it didn't resonate, then just let it fly or just choose another group. So thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. So we have the gorgeous Opalite. So I feel like you guys are going to be coming into your inner power. And I feel like this person is going to be really powerful in your life. So you've got, got, you guys have got a really big chunk of cards. So just bear in mind, I might not be able to show you every, every single one of them at once, okay? So we have Otter Spirit, You Are Never Alone. I love this card. This is my love card. So this basically means you're going to be, this is going to be a romantic relationship or just a romantic connection. Yep, soul journey. So it's going to be a person who's going to be on this journey with you. And the spirit guides are going to be bringing this person towards you, okay? So we have Wedding keep an open mind, true love, this is beautiful, I love this, we also have freedom, artist, meditate and contemplate, it's time to take action, confidence is key, is your key to success, citrine, abundance, creativity, solar plexus chakra, eye light, family, third eye chakra, <clears throat> jade, good luck, heart chakra, and then from the tarot we have the Eight of Cups, Five of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. Okay, let's have a little look into this. Guys, you have so many cards. Beautiful. Oh. Okay. So, this person that's coming towards you is definitely a love relationship. We've got Heart Chakra here. We've got Wedding. We've got True Love. We've got um, Keep an Open Mind. And we also have this time to take action. This is somebody who's coming towards you. Possibly, if you are a woman, a male figure, obviously it doesn't really matter on gender. But this is to do with a new person coming in your life. So I'm feeling like more of a male energy here. Like a masculine energy. Could even be a woman who has masculine energy. Obviously, it doesn't matter on gender. But that's kind of what I'm seeing more for this group. So you guys are going to be more in your heart chakra with this person. You're going to be like, wow, this person is so good. I feel so free with them. They're going to be someone who possibly could work for themselves or they're just kind of like have a really nice free spirited attitude to life. They're going to be somebody who's very artistic. They could also just be somebody who's very creative, could like love music, 
um i love working out they do something creative in their life that's very like that's, that's for them um there's somebody who um meditates and contemplates about things so they could take a lot quite a while to actually possibly give you an offer but i feel like once they do they're gonna be really really committed to you and i feel like there's somebody who is actually quite confident but for some of you i feel like they're not so confident because they need to actually work on their solar plexus chakra and work on that um ego and the uh, confidence so with the creativity and abundance i feel like this person is very abundant as i say they also are very very creative there's somebody who loves family as well they're very like family orientated they could even want a family with you i see like the wedding card here so they could want a very high commitment with this card here this is my absolute this is like the one love card in the whole of the deck and there's like i don't know like 50 cards so it's crazy that this came out which is absolutely amazing it's just meant to be it's meant to come out um, I love the fact we have soul journey here and we also have spirit guides. So everyone in the spirit realm is kind of like egging you on saying, come on, we can do this. Let's get, let's get these two together. And I feel like this could even be a group of people. This could even be like your soul family um, for some of you. But I feel like for like pretty much all of you, they could just be a soul family and also a romantic relationship. So this person is in the middle of letting go from something and doesn't serve them. And they kind of feeling more confident within their life to do with certain people i feel like they've let go of a lot of crap and i feel like they're ready to come towards you um this could take probably about two weeks two two weeks to two months for them to come towards you i don't actually have a time frame for the end of the other group but i feel the need to do that yep definitely two weeks to two months if you already know this person that's different that's fine um but i feel like this person is going to be meditating and contemplating whereas you will want these action you'll want to go towards this person or this could be flipped reverse where it's basically like flipped roles or flipped reverse you know whatever flipped roles where you are going to be possibly meditating and they'll come in towards in your like in your five in your third eye in the 5d and you'll kind of feel them there and also i feel like this person is very like calm so they love to meditate they may need to meditate more and I feel like they're going to contemplate on this relationship but they're going to want to they're going to want to do it I feel like they're just going to want to push themselves to have the confidence to go towards you okay but they're going to want to come towards you because the true love is here and it's amazing but keep it up in mind with this relationship you might not expect it to come or you might be like where the hell is it like why is it taking so long but this is why because it's basically like it's going to be something new that you have never really had before this person's going to be so loving towards you as well. They're not going to have an issue loving you. But I do feel like it may take a little bit of time. If you know them, you may, may, you may start off as friends. And we also have true love. So it's like it's meant to be, guys. Okay. So as well as Pisces. Definitely Pisces here. I'm seeing Aries as well. So we have Virgo and Cancerian. So I'm definitely uh, also Capricorn. Yep, Virgo. Leo. Aquarius. Gemini. Taurus, Libra, if I already said that, I'm not sure. And also Aries. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I definitely feel like all the Earth signs are here as well also. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching. If this resonated with you, then please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. If it doesn't resonate, then just let it fly. Um, also, if you'd like to connect with me on Instagram, then feel free. I also, uh, you can connect me through Instagram or email to uh, book a private reading with me. Um, all the information is down below also, as well as on the screen here. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for being here and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye guys.